<laughs> Bro, do you remember that one time when that old lady? Uh, probably news? not. I have really short term memory. You didn't even hear what I was about to say. Yeah, didn't have to. I know I couldn't remember because I can't remember anything. Okay, so if you can't remember anything, then how can you remember that you can't remember anything? That's the only thing I can remember that I can't remember anything because I have horrible memory. Then how do you understand the basic, basic English, English language? language? Try saying that three times fast. Yeah, so I have a severe form of anterograde amnesia, and that basically just means that I have short-term memory loss, and that's what most people call it. Well, then how bad is it? How bad is what exactly? Nothing. I think I'm going to start heading out now, though. Wait, you were about to give me 20 bucks before you left. Oh, okay. Here you go. Thank you. Okay, I think I have to be somewhere now. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna head out. See you later. Wait, hmm? you were just saying that you were gonna give me the keys to your car because you didn't want it anymore. Wait, I have a car? Oh yeah, I have keys right here. Here you go. I'll just find a way to get around, I guess. Yeah, if you just take this road down here, it'll just take you to a bus stop. Take a right. A what? A uh, bus stop. What's that? What's a bus stop? Yeah. What's that? The place where you wait for public transportation yeah i have no idea wait is that the thing where you get to places faster yeah oh okay okay um oh it looks like i don't have any more money but i'm sure it's free i'm gonna i'm gonna start heading out now oh uh, what was your name again ray ray is my name i hope you travel safe i just really appreciate everything that you've done so thank you yeah well I i'll see you later frank is that my name frank yeah that's what your dad called you before he left thank you Oh, I can't remember your name. I'm so sorry, but I'm just going to call you best friend. I'll see you in the next life, Frank. Okay. See you. Frank, wait. Yeah? There's something I need to tell you. I just don't know who you are, Frank, though. Frank, we met a few moments ago. You told me that you have ultra short-term memory loss. Oh, yeah, that I know. I have awful memory. I can't even remember my own name. Well, after you told me you had short-term memory, I did something. You did something? Yeah. What did you do? I forgot to tell you that you were supposed to give me the Starbucks gift card that I saw that you had in your wallet. You said that you would do that for me. Your best friend? Oh, oh my God. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Here you go. Yeah. You said you were going somewhere? Can you help remind me where? I'm getting a phone call. Hello? This is the Nourish Nations charity for hunger relief calling for Frank. I'm not sure who this is or who I am. Your voice is quite unmistakable. Having dedicated half of your life to military service, a tragic incident in the field resulted in memory loss, compounded by the loss of your best friend, Tyler. With no surviving family, you chose to devote yourself to aiding the hungry before your memories faded. Now, rest assured you are in safe hands and we'll be arriving shortly to pick you up from your current location. Oh my, it sounds like I'm in good hands. Okay, well then I won't move. Um, I'm, 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 I'm here with a Mr. J Jeremy, Jeremy's my name. Not, well, Jer Jeremy, Jeremy, Jeremy. Jeremy's my name. That is my name. He says his name is Jeremy. Excellent. Now instruct Jeremy to remain by your side for now. Uh, we're on our way, accompanied by the President of the United States. To express gratitude for your efforts in eradicating world hunger. You're actually set to be nominated for not one Nobel Peace Prize, but an incredible five Nobel Peace Prizes will be bestowed upon you. I, I don't know what those are, but they sound so cool. You've not only brought an end to world hunger, but also achieved a monumental feat in curing cancer, Frank. Your unparalleled contributions to humanity have not gone unnoticed. Each Nobel Peace Prize you're about to receive symbolizes a different facet of your extraordinary impact. One for eliminating hunger, another for your groundbreaking work in cancer research, and three more for the numerous lives that you have positively influenced across the globe. Congratulations on your well-deserved recognition. I'll be waiting right here. Perfect. Don't go anywhere. We will be arriving in a helicopter shortly. Oh, who, who are you? I'm Ray. Okay, listen, I need to tell you something. I need to come clean about something that I did to you. One second. Hello? Frank, I can tell that voice from a million miles away. Listen, this is the Memory Menders charity. We specialize in memory restoration. Uh, we're gonna help you regain your memory with a 99% success rate and we'll actually be arriving on your scene shortly. We've been monitoring your case very closely. And according to your charts, it does look like you have a very severe case. Anyway, we're gonna be there shortly and restore all of your memories from the past. But yeah, we're gonna be right there. Okay, Frank, seriously now, I have to tell you that that I knew about the charity and I did that for you and I knew really? that they would be able to help you with your memory. And I knew the entire time. Why didn't you tell me earlier? I did, uh, but I'm just reminding you to make you happy again. Well, it does. Thank you so much. I can't wait for them to arrive. This is literally the best day ever. Yeah. Uh, the plot thickens and the time has come for a revelation of more, shall we say, 
larcenous nature. Can you hear that too? What is going on? Is that is that just my No, no, no. My dear friends, there's no whimsy in this revelation. Ray, as you orchestrated this day of grand surprises, a nefarious subplot unfolded in the shadows. What? What are you talking about? While Frank was lost in the whirlwind of your imaginative surprises, you, 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 you took advantage of the situation. You've been pilfering from Frank's pockets. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I've seen no your thieving about. ways, Ray. The missing money. The sly maneuvers. What? Your attempts to line your own pockets amidst the laughter. Is that true? I thought I'd borrow a little. It was all in good fun. And I knew about the charity. The, yeah, I know you don't remember, but I knew about it I, the whole time. <laughs> the twists and turns of this day. Frank, fear not, for this too was part of the grand spectacle. Ray, your attempt at mischief has been exposed. Oh, oh, and now it's time to make... Amends. I am going to explode you now. What? 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 Explode me? What? Yes, you heard me correctly. I am going to explode you now. No, you can't do that. Sure, I can. I'm the narrator. No, stop, stop. What is your favorite sound effect? What? Your favorite sound effect. What is it? Thunder. Why? Good gracious. Have you bolted him with the lightning strike? Ray was no good to you. What? What is your favorite sound effect? Oh, what are you gonna make me disappear too? I uh, just want to know for, uh, personal reasons. I don't know, my favorite sound effect is like, applause, don't hurt me. Very well then. And now, announcing the final contestant for the highly coveted title of Best Human on Earth Award. None other than the five-time Nobel Peace Prize winner, Frank Brown! Bravo, that's my boy! So, you, uh, you did, uh, Mr. President. you know, uh, anyway. You got it, spit it out. He asked that you please be patient with the president. He has a condition similar to yours. Oh, yeah, okay, no problem. Um, you did, uh. Mr. President, it is so nice to meet you. Uh, anyway.